Hello Idaho. Before you can vote, you gotta make sure you're registered. You can check to see whether you're already registered using the link in the description, but if you're not registered yet, or if you've moved since the last time you voted, you'll need to fill out a registration form. There are two ways you can register to vote in Idaho. The first is by mail. There's a link to a registration form that you can print, fill out, and send in by October 14th. I know having to mail is annoying, but the sooner that you're registered, the better, so just do it. If you missed the October 14th deadline, don't panic. Idaho allows you to register at the polls on election day. To do that, you need to bring a valid Idaho driver's license or state ID with your current address on it, or a combination of another photo ID, like a student ID or passport, and a piece of mail with your name and current address on it, like a bank statement, utility bill, tuition bill, or paycheck. So once you've registered, you get to vote. If you'll be out of state on election day, or you'd just rather vote from the comfort of your own home, you can apply to vote absentee. There's a link to an application in the description. You've got until November second to apply, but the sooner you do it, the more time you'll have to look at the ballot and research the candidates before you make your decision. Once your application is processed, you'll get a ballot in the mail, which you can fill out at your own pace and send back in by November 8th. In some counties, you can also vote early in person between October 24th and November 4th at your county clerk's office or elections office. There's a link to all their websites below where their locations and hours will be posted by the time early voting begins. But if you want that experience of voting in person on November 8th, the polls are open from 8 a.m to 8 p.m. and there's a link below that will tell you where to go to vote. You'll need to bring a photo ID with you, an Idaho driver's license or state ID, a passport, tribal ID, or student ID from a high school or college in Idaho all count. You can also go to your county clerk's website to look at a sample ballot that tells you everything you'll be able to vote for in your county. You don't have to vote for every single item on the ballot. You can leave things blank if you want to, but your local elections can be pretty important, so it's worth checking out what's on there ahead of time. You can even print out a sample ballot and bring it with you to the polls so you don't forget what you wanted to vote for. All the links you need to check your registration and polling location and get a sample ballot are in the description. Thank you for voting.